Here it is. You can just see Tom in there. <laughs> He's measuring things out for me. Here it is, Gideon's studio, finally. Um, I shall take you in for a quick tour before we start doing anything. We've literally got the keys this morning and we're heading in now. Oh, the kids are here. <laughs> uh, so I've got this little entry vestibule. Yeah, that's just all the electrics and fuse boxes and stuff like that. Then this is the first room. Um, the plan is that this will be like my office space slash workroom, stock storage, all of that kind of stuff. We've got a little kitchen at the back, so I've got access to water, which is brilliant. There is a little toilet in there. The water works. Yep, turn the tap off, buddy. Um, so this is this space. It's actually quite big. Um, I just need to work out how I'm going to use it. I'm thinking I might put some kind of like island in the middle for like workstation kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this will be the room that's a bit more complicated to set up. And then through here, thank you, Arthur, is the other space. Tom is currently measuring up in here for me. Um, so this room, if I'm going to come back a little bit, because it's a bit weird to show you. This room is a little bit weird because it's got glass walls, but it's the only place where there's a window, which means ventilation. So my plan is that this will actually be my die space. So what Tom is currently measuring up is... Um, we need something down instead of the carpet because obviously the dye space will involve a lot of water. Um, but there's plenty of room in here for me to get a good couple of workbenches up, obviously electrical points so I can get my ovens plugged in. Um, so that's the plan here. And then in this back space, I'm going to have this as like my prep room. So all my undyed yarn will get stored in here. It's not a TV, it's a radiator, buddy. <laughs> um, this is my where I'll keep all my undyed yarn. I'll also put my airers in here for drying yarn um, and stuff like that, my dehumidifier. One of the things I really liked is there's this massive storage cupboard. If I turn the light on. Um, so all the stuff, like I've already started bringing stuff in, like grid wall stuff that I only need when I have shows. I've actually got quite a lot of storage space in here for all that kind of stuff I don't need access to regularly and like back stock of postage mate bags and you know that kind of stuff that just is a bit of a space hog basically um so yeah that is the space um so yeah that is the space um our plan today today is Monday Easter Monday I haven't got a lot of time in the next few days to sort things out um Tom's back to work tomorrow I've got the kids all week. <laughs> um, we're off on holiday on Friday. Yeah. Um, so holiday. it's a bit of a rush kind of to get some things done. Um, but the plan today is to just... Careful, Jazzy. Okay, here's Hello. Jasper as well. The plan today is to just get um, some bits and pieces measured up check what I need to get in terms of like repair stuff. There's nothing that really needs repaired. It's in really good condition. Um, but what I do want to do before we sort of fill it full of stuff is this room is fine because you've got the window and it's nice and bright, but this room is very echoey. <laughs> it doesn't have a window and the gray that they've used, <laughs> the gray that they've used on the walls is quite dark. Um, so it's a little bit dark in here. So what I actually want to do is I want to get this painted while it's still empty. Um, annoyingly, that means we're going to have to try and take this off the walls, which we've kind of started having a go at. It's like vinyl stickers, but it's fine. It's coming off okay. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> what do they say? Don't work with animals and children. <laughs> Um, so that is the plan today. We're going to head over to Wix and get some paint swatches and things like that. Um, and then the next few days we're going to paint. So I think what I'll do with this video is you've had a little introduction um, and then I'll record a few little clips and stuff as me and the kids paint this room over the next couple of days. Um, and then I will come back towards the middle of April when we actually start physically moving everything in. Um, and I'll do a bit more of a vlog and a bit more videos then. And hopefully I won't keep recording it on my phone so I won't keep looking at the wrong part of the camera. <laughs> keep doing that. You'll anyway. Be, you'll be doing a time lapse. A time lapse. We might do a time lapse, maybe, if I bring my tripod over. Of painting. Mind me to bring my tripod over and we can do a time okay. lapse tomorrow? Yeah? Remember the tripod, remember the tripod, remember okay, the tripod. Okay, stop. <laughs> anyway. 
We need to get on. So I will talk to you all again and show you all a bit more later. Recording. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, 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 Helen, Jasper, <laughs> Achea, <laughs> ASMR be like. I'm standing on the chair. <laughs> Jasper, ASM ASMR be like. ASMR be like. <laughs> that was a satisfying bit. Right, we are nearly at the end of day one. I will try and look at the right place on my phone. <laughs> we are nearly at the end of day one. We managed to get all of that horrible sticker off the wall. Um, Tom has filled all the holes as well. Um, we are very nearly finished um, taping up in here, ready for me to paint tomorrow. As you can see, I've taped around the door frames and everything like that, because um, me and the boys are coming back tomorrow to attempt to paint. The boys have been hyperactive and crazy and overexcited today. <laughs> and I'm kind of dreading tomorrow with it just being me and them while I'm actually trying to get stuff done. But I'm hoping I can give them a roller and they can get a bit of painting done. They can kind of join in. Um, I'll also make sure I bring my fair switches and other stuff to entertain them. So hopefully, hopefully it'll, it'll all go smoothly. We will see. Um, what else did we manage to do today? Um, we went to Wix and we got the paint. Um, we did go oh, for the duck egg blue in the end, which I think will really brighten it up in here. Um, so that's good. We also got some flooring. Um, I'll flip you around a second and I can show you a bit more easily. Um, so I can't remember if I said this this morning. I don't think I did. Um, it's carpet in here and it's carpet in the dye space. Um, now, I, my plan is that I'll probably have like my soaking buckets and things like that by the kitchenette because this is where my water source is. Um, but I wanted to do something to protect the carpet. Um, and the same in the dye room. The kids are in the dye room, so this is about to get crazy. Um, the same in here, in the dye room. Um, I want to put something down in here to protect the carpet as well so that it doesn't get wet and damaged and things like that. Um, so we did manage to find um, some vinyl in B&Q, the kind of, it's tipping it down with rain, absolutely tipping it down outside. Look, I was just like, what's that weird noise I can hear? But yeah, it's tipping it down with rain. This is the view from my studio, by the way. <laughs> The view out of my window onto a in rainy industrial estate. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Flooring. Yes, we did manage to get hold of some vinyl flooring, um, which we're going to put down over top of the carpet. So it's just kind of a grey, grey wood effect. You'll see it better as we make more progress. Um, but yeah, it's just a grey wood effect and that's going to go in here, it'll fill most of the space in here. We're gonna put it down over the carpet. We've got some special double-sided tape, which is designed to kind of affix, affix vinyl um, to carpet kind of thing. 
and we'll seal the edges with some other kind of special tape. I don't know. Um, so it will be relatively watertight. But when I finish my tenancy here or whatever happens with that, I'll be able to take it back up again and the carpets will still be here. That's the plan. Um, and we're going to do similar here. So we're going to bring out, out to probably about where this plug socket is. It's so much more echoey in here. It's really funny. Um, <laughs> out to where probably this plug socket is in a square just up past the edge of the kitchenette. We're gonna again put that vinyl down on top of the carpet, seal the edges properly, um, and then that will give me waterproof areas so that I don't need to worry about getting things, getting the carpets wet and damaging the carpets and stuff like that. As you can see, the carpet already has some damage on it, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, that's the plan. Um, so painting, painting is the next job. Um, we will, I'm not going to turn around. I was just about to turn around and scan the whole room, but Tom is bent over, um, looking like a proper builder, let's say. <laughs> he's back up, so he's back up right again. Um, so yeah, painting is our job tomorrow. Um, so I guess we'll see you all again then. Good morning. Um, it is day two in the studio. We are all in very scruffy clothes. It's just me and the boys here today. And we have started painting. Um, it's definitely gonna need a couple of po coats to cover this darker gray, unfortunately, but we've, we've made a start. Um, I was hoping, well, I am hoping we'll get a full coat of paint on this first room today, but that kind of depends on, kind of depends on the children really and how much they let me get on with it. <laughs> They're currently painting at the moment. Um, I will show you how it's looking. So we've only just started, but we've done the edges. I've done behind the radiator. Um, I need to get up on the stepladder and edge the ceilings and finish the top bit there where Arthur couldn't reach. But the boys have started with the roller and they are starting to get the first coat of paint on the wall there. Um, so yeah, we're getting there. It's a start. Um, it, yeah, as you can see, it's definitely going to need a few good coats of paint, um, so we will see. Still painting. As you can see, Helen and Jeff are painting. Done a big bit of the wall already. I'm going to need to cut one or a couple more times, maybe. Helen's just started over here by the radiator. Jeff's continuing with a big bit we've already done. Don't want to strip over anything, but that's all it is. And we still have all of this to go. Okay, first coat complete on section one. It's very patchy, <laughs> um, but it's definitely going to need multiple coats. Um, yeah on top of the grey. I mean, I could have just gone on with a white and like a primer kind of thing first um, to cover up the grey, but um, I got the paint on special offer. So actually it worked out just as cheap to kind of go for multiple coats of the same colour. Um, so that's what we're doing. But I definitely think it's going to brighten it up in here. I don't know how well that comes across on the camera, but it really shows how dark that grey actually was that they had painted it. Um, so it's definitely going to brighten it up in here, which is what I wanted. Um, I know it's going to be a bit of a pain covering that dark grey. Um, we're going to definitely need two coats, maybe even a third, which is a fine. It's fine. We'll get on with it. Tom's happy to help in the evenings. And if we don't quite get it all painted this week before we go away, then it's fine. It just means I have to delay actually moving in by a week or so. Um, but I can keep working at home and we can keep coming over here in the evenings or when, I've got, when we've got any free time um, to kind of get the painting and stuff sorted. I'll flip you around so that you're not just talking to a blank wall. Where shall I lean? I don't know. I'm going to lean somewhere. Um, it's all very blank wall behind me, so it's not exactly the most exciting backdrop at the moment, is it? Um, yeah, what was I going to say? I've forgotten now. Um, I can keep working from home. We can fill in any spare time, that kind of thing. I'm only painting in here for the moment. The other two rooms will need painting eventually. Um, and I don't know, part of me is tempted to do it while it's empty, but it's going to be a lot of work to get it painted. And actually, although it is the same colour as in here, because you've got the window in there in the natural light, um, it isn't as dark. Whereas this room just feels a little bit dark because it doesn't have a window. Um, and you're just using kind of, I don't know, can you see the ceiling lights? That probably went all funny and flickery. 
Um, now it's gone all fun. Oh, there we go, it stopped. I don't know whether that will have come across on the final recording or not. Um, but yeah, it. I don't know. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to paint it. I think I'm feeling stressed about it because I've got the kids here, so it's entertaining them as well. And okay, they wanted to get stuck in and they wanted to help, and that's great. But like I've had to go back over bits that they've done, so it's actually creating more work for me. Anyway, I've done that section, so now I need to move the plastic sheeting to another section and get started on that one. It's just three o'clock now and I have just finished the first coat of paint. <laughs> it's been a mission. As you can see, it is a bit patchy. It's definitely going to need at least one more coat. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I start the second coat now because the original wall that I started on will be dry by now. Um, so I could actually get a second coat on that wall now and then tomorrow there'd be less to do or I could just let it all dry completely have a rest we could head home I could get some stuff done at home that I need to get done I could maybe make it to knit group tonight um, and then we'll come back tomorrow fresh and start another coat despite the fact it looks really patchy it has really really brightened it up in here even just that one coat over the dark gray has made this room so much brighter um, so I'm definitely glad we started it because it is going to make, it's going to make a massive difference. Um, I put my tripod thinking I'd do some hyperlapses of it all and I didn't. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. Gosh, that bit in the shadows does look really patchy, doesn't it? <laughs> that's, to be fair, that's probably because that's the last bit I've just done. So none of it's dried yet. So that top bit that looks really bright at the moment is actually fresh. I've literally just done that. So that's not dry. So hopefully that's why that's looking really patchy. But yeah, we're getting there. I think I'm gonna tidy up and go home. I think that's the best bet. Kids are bored too. Hello. We are back at the studio for day two of painting. Um, I've actually got you on a tripod so I can't see myself, which is a little bit weird, but it's fine. Um, hopefully my head is actually in shot. <laughs> we are obviously in the same clothes again because we're painting and I didn't wanna get multiple sets of clothes dirty. Um, but yeah, we're going to attempt the second coat. We are a little bit short of paint um, and Wix didn't have it in stock at our local store, but Tom ordered me some online and it should be getting delivered to the house at some point today. So I'm hoping that he's going to drop that over when it gets delivered. Um, he's working from home today, but the kids decided they still wanted to come and help me. Um, so yeah, we just need to get on with the second coat. Hopefully we will have enough paint until the paint arrives. Um, and... Hopefully we will get a full second coat done today and fingers crossed that will be all it needs. Um, we'll see, there might be a few, a few patches that need a little bit of touching up, but I don't know, I don't know, we'll find out. studio for hopefully the final day. Um, I didn't manage to get a lot done yesterday. I got one whole wall done. I can't remember what I showed you to be honest. I got one whole wall done plus a little bit more 
um, and then we ran out of paint. Um, Tom had ordered paint, I think I said this yesterday morning, I can't remember, um, but it didn't actually end up arriving until 8pm last night, so it wasn't much use. <laughs> um, so we've had a day of kind of doing a few other bits, Tom worked from home and he started work early so that he could finish early, so we have come over I don't know, is it about three o'clock now, something like that? We've come over to the studio now to kind of get the last of the finishing done. I've only got Jasper with me because Arthur is at a friend's house. That hoodie is far too small for you with the hood up. <laughs> That's, to be fair, that is why we picked it, because it didn't mind it getting covered in paint, because it's too small for him it and is. it's old. And it's 10 11 we We arrived at 10, we arrived at 2.10. 2 10. Oh, it's 2 o'clock then. He finished nice and early. Um, so, yeah, we just need to get the final coat on. But with Tom helping me, that should go a lot quicker, which would be good. Um, but I did manage to get a few other bits and pieces done this morning, which is good. All of my current active orders have shipped. Um, so that is good, including all of the... I had a handful of club orders and Peter Pan orders that um, I hadn't been able to kind of completely finish yet. Um, I don't know if you're getting that background noise. I've got the kettle boiling, so if you can hear that, then apologies. Um, my phone doesn't pick up audio as well as my camera does, so hopefully you're not hearing that in the background. Um, so I did that. I finalised my mood board for Hogfather Advent Calendar, which is brilliant because that has been giving me a lot of grief. A lot of I've struggled with that, to be honest. Um, but I think I finally got an image with a kind of mood board. It's not like a proper mood board. It's an image. And then on the image, I have got like... Um, something that represents the colours, the rough colours that the advent will be, if that makes sense. You'll, well, you'll see once I reveal the mood board, um, but it's also an image that if I remove those bits from, I can use it as an actual image for the advent calendar as well, to go on flyers and stuff that will go in the box, so that's really nice. I'm happy. I'm sorted that. I've edited most of this vlog, not that I can remember what I've recorded, and uh, I've edited most of this vlog up until now, um, so that is good. And I got a few other bits and pieces. I actually I started rereading The Hogfather and started making notes about where colourways are going to fit in with the book. Of course, typically, um, which my brain had forgotten, um, Terry Pratchett doesn't use chapters in his books. Um, it's like a big thing that's, that's well known within the Discworld series and Terry Pratchett's books in general is that he doesn't use chapters. So my idea of a read-along was slightly stumped for a moment when I realised I couldn't just tell you to read this chapter and this chapter. I'm going to need to break it down a little bit differently. And of course, all editions of the books will have different page numbers, so I can't even do it by page number. Um, but I think I've got an idea as to kind of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to break it down. Um, so that's quite good. We are wasting time at the moment because <laughs> we... we oh, are you pulling faces at the camera? <laughs> really? We um, got to the studio, I put the kettle on, which is now just boiled, and Tom said to me, have we got the rollers? No. No. Nope. <laughs> I left the rollers at home, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> but luckily home is only a five minute drive, so he won't be long. He'll be back, he'll be back shortly with the rollers. Um, so we are just buying time at the moment, and I thought I would sit down and chat about random things, basically. We are off on holiday tomorrow. So this is the last day at the studio for a week. Um, so yeah, definitely hoping to get the painting finished. Where are we going? Um, the island of Mull. Yeah, we are off to Mull, which is a Scottish island on the west coast of Scotland. Um, with my in-laws who are arriving tomorrow. Um, so Tom's picking them up from the airport and driving them to Mull. And me and the boys are driving to Mull separately. We've got to drop the cats. The cats are going to a cattery for the first time. Um, so that will be interesting to see how they get on for their week at the Cattery. Um, we need to do some food shopping to take with us because we're staying in a cottage. And what else do we need to do? We need to pack. I haven't packed anything. I think I'm just about up to date with laundry. I might need to get one more load of laundry on. Um, but me and the boys don't need to leave until about three o'clock tomorrow, I don't think. Um, so we've got a few jobs to do and the laundry and the packing. And then we'll have a week on holiday. And I am going to take my Vertices Unite with me. I am going to take my so faded sweater and I'm maybe one other thing, I'm not sure, um, and a couple of books and I'm hoping it's going to be quite a chilled out week. Anyway, I've rambled for ages now. 
I will give you a final update once the second coat has gone on. This wall hasn't had the second coat on. Um, but I will give you a final update and a final view of the studio once the final second coat has gone on and um, then that'll probably be it from this vlog. This was very much like an introduction and just a painting kind of vlog and then once we're back from holiday, the kids are back at school and Tom and I have worked out a day where we can hire a van, I will do a vlog of us actually moving in and getting the studio set up um, and things like that um, later in the month hopefully. It's looking all patchy again. <laughs> no, it's only because we have finished the second coat and we have actually gone over for a quick third coat. Um, so that wall has actually just had a third coat and then it's gonna be fine. Um, we've done that wall as well and we're just doing that wall. I've actually done up to about there, I think. I haven't done the top bits because Tom can reach the top without having to get on the stop ladder, the stop ladder, the step ladder, as you can see, whereas I can't. <laughs> so he's doing the top bits for me. And then it's just quick third coat on that last little bit and the wall over here where the toilet is and the painting will be done. So we've been chatting about it and we get back Friday next week. Let's flip you around so again, you're not just talking, you're not just listening to a blank canvas. So we were just talking about it and we get back Friday next week but I think our ferry from the Isle of Mull back to Oban is at maybe half ten in the morning, eleven o'clock, something like that. So we should be home by about two. I suspect that my in-laws, particularly my mother-in-law who is a knitter, um, I suspect that she will want to come over and see the studio on Friday evening. They're leaving early Saturday, so it'll be Friday afternoon. So I think what we'll do is Friday afternoon we will come over and take all the tape off because everything will be dry. Um, my arm is aching because I've been doing too much painting and now I'm holding a camera. Um, Friday afternoon we'll come over and take all the tape off. Then they go home Saturday morning. Tom's dropping to them at the airport, but their flight is at something like half ten. So Tom will be back by midday, which gives us all of Saturday afternoon and Sunday to hopefully come back and get the final little bit touch-up bits done and hopefully sort that flooring, all that vinyl flooring. Hopefully we'll get that down. And then I think maybe towards the end of that week after the Easter holidays, we will actually do the moving in because um, then I can spend the first half of that week, once the kids have gone back to school, dyeing up the clubs and the shop update yarn and get all the dyeing done that week. Then we'll have a day where we move all of the stuff. Then at that weekend, we can spend sorting and getting everything organised. And then I can come back in the following Monday and be ready to actually start working in here in the final week of April. Um, and I'll be able to scale and get all the clubs and everything packed and ready to ship that week. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that should all work out. Um, yeah. So hopefully by the end of April, assuming nothing goes wrong, <laughs> hopefully by the end of April, everything should be up and running. Here it is, the final moments of the final coat. I bet he's not got enough paint left on his roller for that last little bit. Oh, oh, maybe. There it is, final moment of the final coat. And we're done. And that's it, we have finished painting. I am precariously perched on the step ladder, which isn't quite wide enough for my backside. <laughs> um, 
but we are done and um, that's kind of it for this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too boring. There's been a lot of blank walls to stare at and a lot of watching paint dry. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's been okay. It's the first steps. Um, the next kind of, I'm calling them work day vlogs because I wasn't quite sure what to call them. I guess I could have called them studio vlogs, but I don't know. Work day vlogs, we're calling them at the moment. The next one will be very much physically moving into the studio. We'll probably start with sorting out the flooring and then actually moving into the studio. Um, I think I'll be doing those as one vlog. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, I hope you really enjoyed the vlog. Um, I'm going to plug my Patreon a little bit quickly before I leave um, because we are off to the Isle of Mull, as you know, and I am planning on vlogging the Isle of Mull for my Patreons um, next week, so that will be going up on my Patreon channel. Um, you can find all the details on my Patreon channel. There's a link underneath the video. Um, it's £4 a month, and you get three... Um, three exclusive vlogs. We do a Discord Knit and Natter, which is a bit like a Zoom Knit and Natter with a video chat kind of thing. Um, we do a Discord Knit and Natter once a month. Um, there's a little giveaway each month. Um, can't remember all the things. What else do I do? Um, we have a book club, a bi-monthly book club that we run through that as well. Um, and it's really nice. It's a really nice place. Um, and I think you get a fair amount for, for four pounds a month. I don't know. Anyway, I enjoy it and I know that the Patreons, the people that are part of my Patreon also enjoy it. So if you would be interested, you do get more vlogs um, and stuff like that. But otherwise, it's fine. You don't have to. I don't know. I'm rubbish at plugging it. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I will see you again very soon for the next steps of the studio. Bye.